Namaste everyone. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, energy. Um, and in yogic philosophy, uh, we're going to talk about chakras a little bit. So they say that we have 114 chakras total. What? So we're going to memorize all of those now. Just kidding. But in modern day yoga, we tend to talk about seven main chakras. As some of you may know, may not know, um, they talk about this rainbow chakra going on. And it's a kind of a rainbow that rises up from our body. And that's kind of the easiest way to remember it. There are seven colors in the rainbow. There are seven chakras we're gonna focus on. Now, some people will say, but what is energy? And why should I even believe in chakras? And is that even real? So let's do a little exercise first, yeah? Go ahead, close the eyes. Come into just an empty space within yourself. Now gently bring the hands together in front of your heart. Feel the palms against each other. And we're gonna rub the hands, creating a little bit of friction here, creating a little bit of heat. You should feel the warmth between your hands as you do this. And then gently just separate the hands now just a couple centimeters apart. And bring your awareness now to that space between your hands. And just watch it internally. Keeping the eyes closed, just feel that space between the hands. What are you feeling? Probably all that movement has created a little bit of friction. Your hands may be tingling. And you're probably saying, well, that's just because I rub my hands together. Okay. So now, starting to separate the hands very slowly, centimeter by centimeter, starting to pull the hands slowly apart until you feel like you're holding about a tennis ball between your hands. And again, witnessing the space between your hands. And now starting to pull them apart a little bit more, slowly, centimeter by centimeter, keeping your awareness on that space between your hands. How does that space feel? Holding now about the size of a soccer ball between your hands, or some of you may know it as a football. And again, bringing the awareness there between that space. What is the texture? What is the sensation? What is the temperature? And maybe you don't feel anything at all, that's all right as well. Now gently start to bring the hands a little bit closer together. Again, centimeter by centimeter. Going really slowly here. Start to feel the pull of the hands together until you come to the tennis ball size again and holding there. Is there a different sensation? Did your hands experience something? Now slowly starting to pull the hands apart again, opening the hands a little bit wider, centimeter by centimeter. We're moving slowly so that you can actually feel the sensation so you can actually feel what is happening. When we move quickly, it's hard for us to really discern what is happening between the moments, between the movement. Keep opening the hands as I keep speaking here, widening the hands, widening the hands to about shoulder width apart. Maybe you wanna open a little bit more. How does it feel? How is that space between the hands now? And taking a pause when your hands are nice and wide here. And again, feeling that space between your hands. And even feeling the hands. What do the hands feel like? Maybe you've lost sensation in your hands. Maybe your hands are tingling. Maybe your hands feel solid. And slowly starting to bring the hands together. How does it feel as your hands start coming together? What is the space happening between? 
how are your hands moving? Gently, slowly coming back to. Keep bringing the hands closer without touching. Bring them as close as you can together. And see how that feels. Keeping them just a couple centimeters apart. If you've touched your hands already, that's okay. Bring them apart a little bit. And again, last time to really sense that feeling between your hands. Keeping the eyes closed, slowly start to bring the hands even closer and feeling that initial moment of contact. When is that happening? See if there's an anticipation in your mind as your fingers start to touch. What does the first touch feel like? Bringing the fingertips together. And then gently bringing the palms together. How do your hands feel? How does it feel to have no space or less space between your hands? Let's have an inhale and an exhale. Gently blinking the eyes open now. How was that for you? If you want, take a moment, pause this video, write down in your journal, write down some notes in your phone. What was that sensation? What did you feel? What was happening? And when we do this exercise, that's energy. That's energy between your hands. And that was just a few minutes. Energy is all around us. We're just not slowing down enough to really feel it, to sense it, and notice it. But it's happening, and it's moving. The hands were wanting to expand or wanting to contract on their own because there's energy pulling and pushing against your hands. So this is what's happening within our body as well, as a whole, the energy is flowing. And these chakras, are our energy centers. They're the areas where energy is really flowing through and sending out to different parts of our body. I'm generalizing very much now. It can go a lot deeper than this. But for the general, for this video, we're gonna just talk about the basics here. So now I invite us to bring in this insight, this mind and body connection to our energy centers and it's not just our physical body but the energetic body as well so with the seven centers here we start with the root and then we'll go up to the second chakra the sacral chakra which is right at your sacrum the third chakra right here at your belly button area or your solar plexus then we come into the fourth chakra the heart the fifth chakra will be the throat the sixth chakra will be your third eye, and the seventh chakra, your lovely crown. So let's take a moment now, we're gonna connect with each one of these. So go ahead, close the eyes again, and we're gonna focus on our root, and our root being where your sitting bone is meeting your cushion, or your mat, or your seat, wherever you're sitting, it's that space. We're gonna rub our hands together again, creating that little bit of energy and friction, and just place the hands in front of our bodies over that lowest point. And just feeling into that space, visualizing your root right down at your tailbone. Maybe you'll feel something in your tailbone. Maybe you'll feel something in your hands. Maybe you'll feel something between the space. Maybe you'll see something. Maybe you'll hear something. Or maybe nothing will happen. That's okay. It's still working. Let's have a big breath now. Inhale, exhale. Let's come into our second chakra. Rub the hands. Bring that warmth and friction now to your sacral area. So for women, that's your lower womb area. For men, that's right above the pubic bone. Keeping the hands on your body or off the body, whatever feels good for you. 
connecting to that space now, connecting to your sacrum, connecting to your sacrum. One more moment here. And then bringing the hands back together, creating a little warmth and friction. And then bringing it over the belly area, maybe on your belly, maybe just right in front of your belly. And just bringing your awareness to this space, our Manipura, our solar plexus chakra. And maybe you sense something, maybe you don't. Is there a difference here between the lower chakras? Having another breath, inhale, exhale. And then bringing the hands back together, creating a little bit of friction again. And then bringing that warmth up to the heart now. Connecting your mind into your heart, into the very center of your heart, feeling the energy from your hands onto your heart, your heart onto your hands. And again, if you're not feeling anything, that's okay. These sensations, these feelings come with time and with practice, with sensitivity and openness. So as long as you keep doing it, as long as you keep bringing the awareness, the sensitivity will start to come. Have one more breath here. Inhale, exhale. Rubbing the hands together again. We're gonna move up to the fifth chakra now, our throat chakra, Vishuddhi. Bring that warmth up to the throat. Feeling that warmth, feeling that connection between your hands and your throat, whether it's directly on your throat or not. Maybe your neck starts to elongate a little more, creating space for that chakra to have energy. Let's have one more breath, inhale, exhale. Bringing the hands back together, moving on up now into our sixth chakra, our Ajna chakra. Bring the hands over the third eye, that's that space right between your eyebrows. And bringing that focus to that place right above your eyes, in the center of your brain. And just notice, is there a difference here as we start to get a little bit higher in the chakras? Have another breath here, inhale, exhale. And last chakra here as we rub our hands, creating the last little bit of friction and heat and bringing it on top of the head. If you wanna hover your hands just a few centimeters off the crown of your head, feel free to do so if you feel to have the placement of your hands on the physical body that can help you to bring the focus there. Having another last breath here, inhale, exhale. And you slowly start to bring the hands down across the body, moving nice and slow, feeling your energetic body. How does it feel? What is the sensation? What is the connection? And then gently resting your hands onto your knees. And just taking a few moments here to feel, is there any difference in my body, physically, energetically, emotionally? And 
and then bringing the hands back to the heart center, bowing down to your hands, giving an appreciation for yourself for trying this exercise, whether it worked, whether it didn't, for anything that happened, and letting go of the attachment to that, letting go of anything that thinks that defines me, but just having this experience. Gently blinking the eyes open. Thank you for trying out this meditation with me. Thank you for exploring energy. Namaste.